jeneza kaiba kuna mtu hapo nje anataka kuona mwili na hajapata nafasi kama hako aje kama unaona mwili na hujaona tunapetoa nafasi ya mwisho tunataka kufunga jeneza kuna mwingine eh wako wapi eh wanaona mwili hawajaona Karibuni wenye wanataka kuona mwili kama hawajaona Wazaki tunaongea mambo ya zaki Kuna wengine kweli Eh hatuta wangoja sisi masaa watu wanajua tulisema ni sangapi Nani wana, wanaona mwili wa zaki Eh Wenye wanaona mwili wa zaki tunapeana dakika tatu za mwisho Wenye wamekuja kwa sababu ya zaki Zaki kama ni wewe umekuja kwa sababu ya Zaki. Oh uh-huh. 
Asante sana. Um, <coughs> Tunataka tukaribia tuombe pamoja. Ungie magari kama hutakuwa na gari usimame hapa tutaona kama tutakusaidia kusafiri. Tunataka kuomba na kama uko hapa unataka kusafiri na hauna njia ya usafiri usimame hapa tutaona kama tutapata njia kukusaidia. Tukaribia tuombe pamoja. Tukaribia tuombe pamoja. Tukaribia tuombe pamoja. Grupi ya Zak, grupi ya Zak. Tukaribia hapa. Tuombeni. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Asubuhi ya leo tunakushukuru kwa sababu umetupatia kibali cha kuweza kuwa hai siku ya leo. Tunajikabidhi mikononi mwako tunapoanza safari hii ya kumsindikisha ndugu yetu e Mfaume tunasema ya kwamba uende pamoja nasi. Tunaomba ya kwamba ukatutangulie, ukatufunike na damu ya Yesu, ukatuongoze e Mfaume na jambo lolote ambalo tutafanya siku ya leo ikawe ni ya kukupendeza wewe. Tunaomba ya kwamba ukatutie nguvu kama vile ulimutia Mfaume Daudi ya kwamba Mungu wa mbinguni utatutia nguvu katika hali uh, uh, hi, hii ya siku ya leo. Tunachikabidhi mikononi mwako damu ya Yesu. Tunaomba ya kwamba ikaandamane pamoja nasi. Magari ambao tunasafiria e Mfaume ikawe pamoja nasi damu ya Yesu na Mungu tukiona mwisho tutakushukuru. Tuna, tunasema ya kwamba anza nasi na uende nasi kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu pamoja nasi. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Asante sana. Basi tutaingia kwa magari sisi tutabaki wadogo tutaweka mwili kwa gari. Jamii jane na mandugu. Ningetaka kama itawezekana watembee na gari yenye itabeba mwili. Basi wengine tunaweza ingia kwa magari zetu. Wenye ukona kwa hapa ndiye transport manager kwa hivyo kama unataka kusafiri na hauna njia usafiri njogona ndiye huyu hapa njogona kuja hapa huyu ndiye transport manager huyu anaitwa njogona kama unataka kusafiri hauna njia uone huyu aone kama atakusaidia
tuweze kusimama tuweze kutoa jeneza pia tunaweza saidia familia kuleta jeneza hapa nje. Bwana Kinyanjui. bwana uh, Isaya Otieno, bwana Kongo tujiunge na familia tusaidie yes. Bwana Maiko Julu tujiunge na familia tuweze kuwasaidia. Cousin ladies come come and I hold the reeds cousin ladies wanyo wako hapa tafadhali waweza kuja watushikie haya maua Yes uh, the reverend wangu Mugambi uh, uwa lile kubwa kwa boot tafadhali kama unaweza kusaidia Our cousin ladies our cousin ladies tafadhali simameni tutukule hizi maua Tushike chini tafadhali. Tushike chini, tushike chini. Tunataka ile uwa kubwa tu kimadhi, Mugambi, uwa lile kubwa tu la jeneza. tutaweza kuomba alafu tutaweza kuendelea tusimame tafadhali Kristo 
Nari uka ida vitu, no tushokete ga ida vitu. Oka rehe adu oa ve ga ida vitu denyu wagi karuni ki muadhani. Kwa hiko ria nido hatha siya ku muadhani. Kukolo ha mwana ibe hida inirele muadhani. Ha anako dina abele tu wete hile muadhani. Owe karaniya na ibe tu hova agai. Kwa kenda wetika neri wahu halewe. Pega ino waku, wamuru mo kristo na muadhani yoto igwe. Nari tu wale ida. Chaku tumai sina Ina dangu ya kemana Sina wema waku tosha Dambi zangu suzi osha Chaku tumai sina Ina dangu ya kemesu Sina wema waku tosha so that after my cousin uh, Bwana Diongo speaks then tutaweza kutoa nafasi tuweze kuimba wimbo wetu kabla tuweze kuendelea Bwana Peter Karanja kwa niaba ya familia Hello Bwana sifiwe Bwana sifiwe Amen Hebu nifungie mkono Ah ningetaka kuwakaribisha nyote ambaye mlisikia tuna hofu tunalia uh, mkaja ili mkaweza kusimama pamoja nami amarito uh, makwa sitawo pasta pita thiongo karaja 
uh, Zack Gakuru ni my cousin ni tondu fafa wao mashira neiro na mami uh, mami etago waithira ikaraga itora le athika no dutaga wira ogada ah uh, uzak my cousin tolele tona ke tolia nini na koguo is a brother that i know ah uh, twitanaga brother na koguo hatire na maundu mangi ikiuga tondu ukiwa mundu ekuiwa ni muhujia andu metagira kuhujerio no tikiriga no ni guthoma tukiugo kimwe tu pasi yemwe tu ethine waifu ku real the furi igana ria miro kweta tuna ithatu na ni muraini wa bere yuga ga ndu mwega muno ikauga ati ni horo mwega atia andu menyu bemwe igo ikara maiguithanetie dikagi hara kenda ga igatirire ni gukoro ku ni kumwathani ugagira kirathimo giake na hinde deli horo wa nyumba diaragia family diaragia ndu aria mewira omwe andu amegishagi kimwe andu amashianirwa hamwe kogo ni ugeni kana ni ni kumujita tura munyita ugeni na muigwe muharia mwagireire kuri family ya mama jega no kumwira kumwira tu muikare muumiririe na muikare mukiaragia na ngai ni tondu ngai ni wakoragwo na aja ya maudu mothe na dikana ni tukumwirite guko gwitu ni kunene athuri ari amagenda kurugama kana gwitaithia mego ikuruka mushiuria na hari hadu hage mwena uyu na atumia othe na iretu magirwe ni guthie mwena uyu mwena wa hama koko tukithina mufango tocio atutigihingana na hatri undu muru ogethie na mbere koko no gushokia gushokia kore sam anegetha nake atuire undu cio ngi mutumia kwe haria kan to all my all the cousins kan 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 taruga mai do i adu adu mamenya na girata goku na tiuru eh ai kono re cousin ni hini toda ke na bwe eru atuku ni dira moi ni itu eh na no na rege memwe no ria na mono ni kuri eh riu eh na re me kuria koko ke ya murathime na mweke wega than some asante sana ndugu karanja asante uh, sana uh, basi wimbo mfupi tu kidogo kabla ni lete mnenaji mwingine naambiwa kanisa pia ulikuwa mko na wimbo mnataka kuimba before i bring in my second speaker i think i can give you a chance kama mko tayari eh, kwa ya kanisa naweza wapea nafasi kabla tuweze kutayarisha i want to get uh, one of the in laws of uh, my anko jenga uh, one of the in laws if i can be given one of the in laws then we can discuss tuweze kuona kama pia naye anaweza kunena kwa niaba ya in laws wetu because we recognize you na tutaki waone kama hatuko apea nafasi kwa hivyo maybe one of the in laws who can be able to stand and speak akiweza kuniona naweza kumpea nafasi baada ya kupokea wimbo wa kanisa
Asante sana. Asante sana kwa ya kanisa. Basi tunaomba wale ambao wameketi katika ile hema penye na Bwana Bwana Dhiongo ambao wamefunga barabara. Tunaomba kwa heshima muweze kusimama. Tafadhali muondoe vitu zenu hapo kwa sababu hiyo ndio barabara ya wadada kupita wakienda kujisaidia. Tunaomba kwa heshima tafadhali muweze kukubali mbili Bwana Karanja anasema. Nataka kumuomba uh, uh, a Karanja ambaye atasema kwa niaba ya inlaws. E, tafadhali kama unaweza kukaribia. Wakati wa kikundi cha Georgia nataka mjitayarishe najua mlikuwa na wimbo na baada ya wimbo wenu basi bwana Isaya atanena kwa sababu kwa nyumba yenu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na wasalimu nyote hamjambo. Hamjambo wapendwa. Basi majina zangu ninaitwa Jafan Kariuki. Nimetoka sehemu za Njoro. Yesu ni bwana na mwokozi wangu. Nimesimama hapa niaba ya Inlus ama mashemechi kwa na mimi ni moja ni kwa maana kijana yangu ametoa msichana hapa na tuna wengine pia ambao wametoka Pasenga na hao wengine pengine una msichana umetoa hapa una kijana ameoa kwako ningewaomba zote masemeji hebu tusimame juu na ili pia katambulika na umati huu Adonio the wete tio kagura huko ni gumu haya muruga menda iguru wako Bas bwana wabariki sana Praise God Bas jambo tu moja ambalo ningesema kwa baba zake na mama zake na familia hii yote mpea nguvu na Mungu kwa maana hii ni njia ya kila moja Biblia inasema ya kwamba kwenye kitabu cha Korintho wa pili mstari wa tano mstari wa kwanza Mwili huu tunaoishi ndani yake tunakaa kama hema na wakati wowote hema hukunjwa na kuondolewa. Kwa hivyo baba Zak, mama Zak na familia yote kina Kamau, Awero, mama Stacy, tujipe nguvu ni kwa maana sisi pamoja na nyinyi tumengojea siku yetu ya kuondoka katika mwili huu. Ni kwa maana ukisoma neno kwenye kitabu cha Zaburi 84 mstari wa 4 Biblia inasema ya kwamba ni nani ataishi na asife na basi kama tukichua hivyo tujitayarishe ni kwa maana maisha ya mwanadamu ni machache ya kuishi katika ulimwengu huu jambo tu jema ni kukaa ukiwa ndani ya Kristo na ili wakati wako utakapokuja basi utafa ukiwa ndani ya Kristo ni kwa maana ndivyo nao linasema kwenye kitabu cha ufunuo 14 heli wafu wafao katika Kristo ni kwa maana wataenda kupumzika pamoja na Bwana kwa hivyo tujikae tayari ni kwa maana siku ya Bwana inakuja na na siku ile lazima itatimia tuweka tayari mioyo yetu ni kwa sababu Mungu anakuja Mungu awabariki sana na wape nguvu tumefurahi ni kwa sababu ya vile amekuja katika mkutano huu na katika boma hii yetu nyote ningesema Mungu wa uzima awabariki na watende mema Asante bwana Sam Asante sana tu encourage mzee tumpigie makofi vizuri Asante sana mzee uh, basi nataka nipewe neno tukiendelea tafadhali naweza pewa neno la mwenye atasema kwa niaba ya majirani nadhani uh, sana sana nafikiri ni jirani kutoka upande wa PV kwenye Zakaria alikuwa naishi kwa hivyo ningetaka wakati naendelea mbele tafadhali kama naweza pewa hilo jina nitashukuru uh, wafanyakazi wa Georgian uh, tafadhali kama mnaweza kusimama i think you had a song and i think after you sing uh, bwana Isaiah Otieno will say something on behalf of the company Georgian Jojia ni pahali ambapo Zakaria alikuwa anafanya kazi.
the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more. And the morning brings eternal right and fair. When the saved of us shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. On the bright and cloudless morning when the dread is brush shall rise, and the glory of his resurrection share. When his chosen ones shall gather on the only on the skies, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dawn to setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. And when all of life is over and the work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up Sasa <coughs> na kisha tumeitwa kwa kusudi ambalo Mungu alituumbia. Hapa jinsi tulivyo hapa ni wafanyikazi wa Georgian wa sasa na hata walio fanya naye kazi uh, siku zilizopita na ambao sasa wana shughuli zingine tofauti. Tumesimama pamoja na familia hii na tumekuja ili kwamba katika kufanya hivyo tuwape nguvu, tuwatie uh, tuwape tumaini pia kwa kujua ya kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja na wao. Zaki amekuwa mmoja wetu na la muhimu sana kumhusu Zaki ni kwamba alikuwa mtu aliyekuwa very much outgoing mtu aliyependa sana kufanya urafiki na watu na akafanya urafiki kwa urahisi sana mtu ambaye ambaye hata kama angalikasirika Zaki alisahau hasira haraka sana na akayaacha mambo ambayo yangemfanya ku, uh, kutofautiana na watu na kisha akawa ni mtu pia wa kupenda kupatanisha watu mara kwa mara. Mimi nimefanya kazi na Zaki. Nimetembea na Zaki. He was a very social person. He made friends very easily. And that's one thing that we really uh, admire about Zaki's life. And in spite of him being one person ambaye pengine angekukasirisha mara kwa mara tulijua ya kwamba alijirudia haraka sana. Mimi kwa kuwa nilikuwa nikitembea naye mara nyingi kuna vile ambavyo angeniambia jambo kama alihudhiwa na mtu ataniambia na ataniambia wakati mwingine kwamba ni mtafutia namna ya yeye kupatana na mtu huyo ili urafiki wao na mahusiano yao yakapata kuendelea vema na sisi ambao tuko hapa tuna changamoto ya kwamba kuna jinsi ambavyo tunaweza kuiga mambo katika maisha ya mwenzetu kama vile ambavyo Zaki amekuwa sasa hayuko nasi Kuna mambo ambayo tulijifunza kwake, mambo ambayo tuweza kuyaiga na kisha tukaishi katika hali ambayo tutaishi na watu wengine pia ili kufanya mahusiano yetu na watu kama tunavyotamani wao pia wahusiane nasi katika hali ya kututia moyo na kutufanya kuwa watu wenye furaha kila wakati. Katika kufanya kazi kwake pia alikuwa ni mtu aliyetamani sana. Aliyetamani sana kufaulu. And Zach, because he was in the sales uh, in, the, in the sales department katika uh, idara ya property 
kuuza mashamba pengine kutafuta nyumba Zaki alijua sana jinsi ya kuzungumza na wateja he had the language and he had the patience na wakati mwingine angeniuliza angemuuliza ambaye ndiye msimamizi wa department hiyo hajafika nafikiri anaitwa Sylvester jinsi ambavyo angeweza ni mbinu gani ambayo angeweza kuitumia ili akaweza kufanya mauzo kwa jinsi ambavyo ingemsaidia yeye na pia kuisaidia kampuni nafikiri kwamba uh, uvumilivu wake pia ulimfanya kupendeza machoni pa watu mimi nina ushuhuda ambao pengine sijamtolea sija mtu mwingine yeyote lakini ushuhuda huo jinsi ambavyo amelala hapa ndugu huyu ningependa tu kusema kwamba kwa wazazi mjipe moyo sana najua ni wakati ambapo majonzi ni mengi najua ni wakati ambapo mnajiuliza maswali mengi ndugu zake dada zake pengine watoto mke na wengineo wajiuliza mambo mengi kumhusu zake sasa ni kwa nini hayuko ikawaje kwamba zak ameondoka wakati kama huu wakati ambapo pengine mlimuhitaji sana lakini Mungu anakusudi tujipe moyo katika kujua hivyo na kwamba Mungu anakusudi mambo ambayo kwamba tukiyafanya kila wakati tutakuwa na moyo wa kuhimizika na sisi kuendelea kufanya pengine yale ambayo tulitarajia kwamba zak angeyafanya lakini kwa kuwa tumepewa muda tungali tupo tutaweza kuyafanya na kuyatimiza kwa kusudi watu wapate kujua ya kwamba maisha ya Zak yalitugusa na yakawa ni kwamba tumeguswa in a positive way na kama kuna chochote manake tu wanadamu tusijidanganye tu wanadamu huenda alikuudhi huenda ulimuudhi kuna nafasi ya kuyaacha hayo leo Zak anapokwenda kaburini una nafasi ya kuyaacha hayo leo na kisha ukaanza maisha mengine mapya Bwana Yesu asifiwe ukaanza maisha mengine mapya familia leo mnaanza maisha bila ya Zak hii ni ishara kwamba Zak anaenda kaburini manake bado hizo siku alipokuwa katika moncho alimngefikiria kwamba labda Zak angerudi lakini sasa yuaenda kaburini hamtamuona tena kwa hivyo mjifunze kuanza maisha mapya bila ya Zak katika maisha yenu ili mweze kuwa na safari ambayo haitakuwa na budha nyingi hamtakuwa na vikwazo vingi na Mungu awasaidie sisi kuna sema tu Mungu hawape amani Mungu hawape nguvu na hawape faraja iliyo ya pekee Bwana Yesu asifiwe Asante Asante sana Bwana Otieno kwa niaba ya kampuni ya Jojian tunaweza keti chini sasa uh, ishara nichaona mshaona fadha ashakuja Asante sana. Ah uh, basi na ulizo ya kwamba ni ulizo watu wa kanisa la hapa uh, waweze kukuja uh, kwenye ndugu yangu tunaongea naye pale nyuma kuna viti. Watu wa kanisa la hapa tafadhali wakaribie kuna nafasi. Na nataka kuomba majirani kwa heshima. Kama we ni jirani na labda umeketi chini kwa kiti ya mapahali na kuna mgeni ambaye amesimama na nyenyekea kabisa na nyenyekea kabisa nataka kukuomba uweze kumpea mgeni kiti aweze kuketi asanti sana uh, basi nilikuwa na ngoja niletewe mwenye atasema kwa niaba ya marafiki uh, kwa niaba ya jirani na nikasema sana sana najua huu ni mtu wa njoro natarajia mtu wa njoro kama naweza pewa akuje labda mnajiuliza kwani hii mazishi haina uh, program yenye watu wanasoma program iko na ziko nyingi lakini kanisa ilituambia tusipeane kwanza mpaka padri afike tukianza ibada yenyewe sasa hapo ndio tutapeana tukianza kusoma yulojia kwa hivyo program iko lakini program distracts people kwa hivyo tuliombwa tusipeane kwanza uh, tukizidi kungoja Mwenye nasema kwa niaba ya majirani DJ inaweza kukuliza utumbe wimbo mmoja tu mfupi kidogo sana. Tafadhali nataka kusaidiwa na mwenye atasema kwa niaba ya majirani. Na nitatoana tu dakika moja. Kama hata kuweko nitasonga mbele.
Asante DJ, asante DJ. Ila waka maua joro, tafadhali ni meombo ni kuombe, uweze kusema kwa niyaba ya majirani. Ila waka maua joro, naona ubeketi pale, ni meombo ni kuombe, uweze kusema kwa niyaba ya majirani. Ida waka mau Karibu Basi Wana Yesu asifiwe Ni vizuri sana kwa sababu Wakati huu ni muema kwa sababu ya Mungu kutufikisha hapa. Mimi ambaye mmesikia ameitwa Idawaka Mau. Mimi nimetoka Njoro, sehemu za Piave. Na hii familia ya bwana Jenga tumeishi miaka mingi tukiwa nao. hata watoto hawa kinazakiwa walikuwa hawajazaliwa wakati tumeanza kukaa na hawa. Paka wakati Mungu alitujalia pia nami nikaa na watoto wakubwa wako mbele kidogo ya Zaki. Uh, my second born, my third born wamezaliwa na Zaki. Wamewachana tu na miezi miwili. Na nishukurani sana kwa sababu wakati tumeishi na Hawa, tumeishi na njia ya upendo mkuu. Na wakati tumepata habari hii ya huyu kijana wetu Zaki, ilikuwa ni mshtuko mkubwa sana kwa sababu ya hiyo kifo cha zaki kitushika zaidi kama vile nilipoisikia asubuhi nilisikia hata siwezi kwenda kumwangalia pahali yako kwa sababu niliona kama kabisa ni yule mtoto wangu ambaye walizaliwa wakati mmoja na yeye lakini Mungu ni mwema kwa sababu alitupatia uwezo na akatuonyesha kwamba hii ndiyo njia hakuna njia nyingine ambayo tutafuata na ili tufike kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Zaki ni kijana ambaye tulimpenda sana. Kabisa tulimpenda kwa sababu kama vile ambaye wanafanya naye kazi amesema, amesema ukweli na nimeweka muhuri kabisa kwa sababu huyu kijana ni kijana ambaye ameishi na watu na anajua ku, 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 kuchukua mtu na mambo yake vile alivyo. Zaki kukukosea huwa ni vigumu sana. Na marafiki yano ako na wengi zaidi katika kijiji chetu. Vile alivyosema yeye hata kuja sehemu hizi akanunua pahali kule center kwetu. Tulishukuru sana kwa sababu tuliona ni kijana ambaye ana maono na ameona mbali. Alikuwa ameona mbali hata kuliko maisha yake. Mimi ni miaka yake. Na tukashukuru sana. Jambo ambalo pia ningewaambia wazazi wa wazazi wake, hawa marafiki zangu. A uh, wengi wa familia yangu hawakuja kwa sababu tulikuwa pia na msichana wetu mmoja wa dada ya mke wangu ambaye aliaga na tulikuwa tunaenda kumuzika kisi Kwa hivyo tuligawana mimi nikaja sehemu hizi mama naye akaenda kule kipandi za kisi Kwa hivyo sitawaeleza tuko na mke wangu hapa. Niko hapa lakini niko na msichana wangu kutoka Nairobi ambaye tulikutana na yeye. Yeye pia walizaliwa waliachana siku kumi na mbili na yule Elizabeth yule ambaye wanafuatana na Zakaria kwa hivyo tulikuwa tunaenda sambamba urafiki wetu pia watoto walikuwa wanaenda vile tunashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu huo wakati ni miaka mingi sasa tumekaa pamoja tukiwa marafiki jambo lingine ningewauliza wazazi we, wazazi hawa ni muombe Mungu na Mungu awapatie nguvu ili wakati huu ambapo Zaki hayuko 
muweze kuishi bila yeye na, mu, na mujue pahali zaki yako kwa sababu ma, mkiweka mawazo zaidi kwa Zakaria na ye Zakaria ameondoka itakuwa ni shida kubwa katika miili yenu kwa hivyo tumuombe Mungu na pia marafiki zetu mtusaidie mwa tukumkitupeleka kwa maombi pamoja na hiyo familia na ili tuweze kukaa vizuri kwa hayo matate mbarikiwe sana Mungu kwa sababu ya kunisikiza na wakati mwingine tutakuwa na maongeo zaidi asantini sana asante sana tu appreciate mzee asante sana kwa maneno yako tunashukuru sana uh, hatuko mbali sana kutamatisha kipindi cha kunena na nilikuwa nimejulishwa nafikiri chief ama sijui labda MC Waeli anaweza kuwa ama chief lakini kabla tufike hapo nilikuwa naombwa uh, kuna watoto ambao wanamuita baba or something like that uh, diongo eh kama wako hicho kikundi uh, kinataka tu kusoma a very short tribute kuna zile tribute nitazisoma mimi mwenyewe na kuna tributes nitawacha ambazo zitasomwa na kanisa hasa tribute ya mama labda na wazazi Uh, hicho kikundi kiko tayari? Kuna kikundi ki, nimeombwa nataka kuonea kidogo maybe to read a tribute. Karibuni. Karibu. You are a dad who was so special and who was loved so very much and brought so much happiness to the many hearts you touched. <laughs> you were always kind and caring and so understanding too. And if help was ever needed, dad, it so freely came from you. <laughs> You are gift to all one and brought and brought joy to everyone and life has been so different ever since you were gone we miss you so much dad Uncle, we, can't, we still can't believe we are, we are writing a tribute because of you passing. It's just three weeks ago when we were together and you promised we would ce celebrate the Christmas together, expressing it as Kwabiliako. Words cannot describe this difficult moment, but if this is the last time we get to say goodbye, then we know we will do so with the knowledge that we consider ourselves blessed to have to have lived this life as your nephews. We still, we still remember vividly your cheerfulness and never-ending jokes, such as describing your car as a chopper when traveling, just to, comfort, just to comfort us because you are speeding. You have left your footprints with glory on the sand of time. Your name will be remembered for a long time and your story will be told for generations. Adeus, uncle. either chief and as a kuwa ama mzee wa chief ama somebody else from the administration if you are there before I go to tributes ingetaka kuwa pia nafasi
Hallelujah. Bonesu wa sifiwe na wasalimia nyote hamjambo. Majina yangu ni Peter Sanwa Home, Gojiri. Mimi ni Assistant Chief hapa ili ya Shamanei. Na mwanzo kabisa ningependa kutoa pole zangu kwa familia na marafiki. Pia ningependa kuleta pole za Chief wa Igwamiti alikuwa amenituma nilipasha hii habari na akaniambia pia nilete pole zake na mimi si mgeni sana hapa wengi tunafahamiana hata mzee baba ya huyu tunajuana ni rafiki ya karibu na pia ni mtu wa familia na ni jambo la kusikitisha sana kumpoteza mpendwa kumpoteza rafiki kumpoteza mtu ambaye alikuwa ni msaada kwa wengi mtu ambaye alikuwa napendwa na watu wengi kwa maana isingekuwa ni hivyo hatungewaona hawa watu wote hapa na kwa hivyo ningependa tu kumuhimiza mkwe na nguvu hata tunapo bado uh, subili siku yetu na ninajua ya kwamba wengi ambao tumefika hapa ambao ni watu kutoka hii area labda mna fadhaika mioni mene mkijiuliza eh tumeenda kumzindikisha mpendwa wetu tukirudi manyumbani tutapata vipi ningependa pia kuhakikishia kwamba usalama wenu uko sawa na kwa katikati ya mambo ambayo yanaendelea katika jamii yetu uh, tunayafahamu kama serikali na tumeweka kipao mbele kuimarisha usalama wa wananchi wote. Kando na hayo pia ningependa kusema asante sana kwa wote ambao wamejitolea na kuja kumzindikisha mpendwa wetu. Na asanteni sana kwa wale ambao wametoka maeneo ya mbali. Mtakaporudi kwenu uh, tunawapa salamu zetu. Lakini Singependa sana kumalizia uh, mazungumzo yangu bila kuwapa neno moja la kuatia moyo. Ni kwa maana ukisoma Biblia katika kitabu cha Luka uh, 34 na 35 inaongea kuhusu kukua makini na kutoa kukua makini katika mioyo yenu ya kwamba inasema in, kwa Kiingereza be careful on your heart will be weighed down by closing darkness and anxiety of life and that day will close on you suddenly like a trap for it will come on all those who live in the face of the earth ndugu yetu siku yake imefika na akatoa na akaondoka lakini Biblia maandiko matakatifu ya Mwenyezi Mungu inatuhimiza kwamba tukue makini tusibebwe na ulevi si ule ulevi wa pombe ulevi wa mambo ya dunia ya kwamba hiyo siku ya Bwana itupate kama mtego kwa sababu Biblia inasema ya kwamba hiyo siku itakuja kwa watu wote ambao wanaishi hapa duniani So, ni jukumu letu wapendwa sisi ambao tumebaki kujitahidi kuenenda katika jia zilizo sawia na mapenzi ya Mungu kuachana na mambo ambayo yanaweza kutusababisha ya kwamba hatima yetu ikiwa ni jehanamu so mimi kama mtawala wa maeneo haya ningependa tu kuahimiza wapendwa tukue makini tukue imara katika roho tukue katika njia ambayo ya kujiandaa ni kwa sababu hiyo siku ikifika hakuna yeyote atakaye jua mahali ataelekea lakini matendo yako hapa duniani ni ya muhimu sana na kwa hivyo nitafikisha hapo uh, nikiwatakia heli wale ambao wataondoka kurejelea sehemu mbalimbali za nchi na waombea rehema za safari Mwenyezi Mungu na awabariki sana na tukue na siku jema pamoja. Asante. Asante.
asante sana tuwashukuru bwana chief Kiswahili kizuri Kiswahili sanifu tuwashukuru sana basi nataka ku consult kidogo jambo moja ama lingine na kanisa as i do that maybe you can give me some little music as i consult shortly about something wimbo wimbo nataka kutoa nafasi ndogo anaweza kuja tumpe nafasi aweze kunena nataka kumuliza dereva yangu kama anaweza program tatu uh, so that we can be consulting with the church just three pieces of the program so that we can be consulting with the church kama una haja kupeana presentation yoyote tafadhali unaweza niona naweza kupea nafasi fupi nafasi fupi kama uko hapa unataka kufanya presentation yoyote Unaweza niona anaweza kukupea nafasi fupi au kufanya presentation yako kabla ni ingia kwa kusoma tributes. Tukiimba stanza mbili za wimbo kwa sababu kuna wengine basi itakuwa ni sawa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwana ni arogo suo. Yeah. 
Gayara Muradima, Nam with Kerega, Kadimere, Major, the YouTube MC, MC, the Kadimere, Major, the Kadimere, the YouTube, was I a subscribe, no Ajikia Bere, to Kayo Kogin, your Nawai CD, or no Ajikia Bere, God bless you. Santi, Santi, the dead should be here, my coffee, Santi Sana. Ama unataka kupea presentation, tafadhali tunaweza niona, tunaweza kupea nafasi muda mfupi. Nataka kumuliza uh, dada ya Zak. Ako na tribu utataka kusoma. Ninajulishwa pia mandugu. Uh, wa, Waweru watasoma tribute, lakini mandugu wakati huo, wana kama unaweza kuna karibia hapa wakati tunasoma yu tribute. Uda da yetu wabaya ni mtoto yetu pia ndaka kuimba wimbo Those two ladies are preserved for the ladies, for the gentlemen. Tutateremuka pale chini, katika nyumba hile tunawana pale, na utaweza kupata pale kwa kujisaidia. Bwana Wabelo? Bwana Kamau? Kujia si mama na waeru wakati na soba hitu nyote. Brother to the late Zach. Our tribute, our dear brother, now that you are gone, 
you are no longer here to share the bond we had together. A bond of love and a care. Being our firstborn, we grew up looking up to you and you encourage us that no matter how tough life may seem, always face it with great optimism <coughs> and trust in yourself that you can make it. Something tells us you are still watching over us. Now that from what we cares, you are free. We miss you so much that world can't explain. We cannot hide our tears, yet our heart will feel you. Always be on our side. God looked around his garden and found something missing on. So it's best for you to feel the place. Since you have left, life will never be the same. Yet comfort us to know that one day we will meet again. Let us appreciate our brother Wabero. A little bit better than that. Thank you, Sandy. Exactly, I'm going to get you up at the hammer. When I see the best of the flag, there's a good you get it. Uh, Asante na Philip tunaendelea vizuri. I will see there is also a tribute from the nephews. These are some of the tributes ambazo mtazisoma kabla tuingie kwa ibada yenyewe. Kwa hivyo if there was somebody who can read the tribute from the nephews and they can be upstanding, basi anaweza kuja. Maybe DJ anaweza nipa wimbo wimbo kidogo ikiweza kuwapanga waweze kusoma tribute yao. The nephews, there is a tribute on the program and these are some of the tributes I need to read kalba tuweze kuingia kwa ibada ile tribute nitawacha ya ibada ni ya mama na wazazi nephews wenye wanamuita zaki ama nephews wa zaki waje juu there's a tribute here on the program wako DJ you can be doing something for me wewe ni wa area hii umeketi na unaona mgeni amesimama ama wewe ni mtu mchanga na mama ama mzee amesimama nataka kuomba kwa heshima sisi tuko na nguvu ya kusimama na tunaweza wapea hao wazazi wetu pale pa kuketi nataka mtu mmoja anisaidie hakikisha e, kusisimame mzee ama mama ambaye ni mkongwe kama sisi tumeketi nataka kuomba mtu mmoja anisaidie hakisha hilo kazi yameifanya Usisimame mama mkongwe ama mzee kama sisi vijana tumeketi chini. Tuwe sisi ni wa kutoka na kuru ama ni wa hapa. Sitaiwacha.
until we meet again, Zach. Take care of us from heaven. Amen. Thank you, son. Thank you very much. To the Kojia father, our father, while you're here, Amanda Kukulaki, the father who is the presiding, is supposed to be coming from Joro. To the Jaribu Kupereza, to Juhu Hasa Mefika Wapi. Father Wahapa Mefika, lakini Amanda Kumpokea. So as we're doing that, just some little music as we plan what else we'll be doing. Taka kidogo, wakati tunangoja kanisa niweze kuwa ni mejianda. Na kama huko hapa na huko na wimbo bado, kuna nafasi dogo naeza peyana. If you are here, you would like to sing a song. Naeza ni niona naeza kupea nafasi. Haba you would like to read a tribute, ita kupea nafasi. So in the next few minutes I'll be passing the button. But if you can look for one song, this one over to Tasimama, this is to Tasifu. So boy, you know, I can't do this is a tuna sauti, I'm a So after we go more, I'm going to go to the water. 
wanaume tutaweza kusimama hata sisi tuweke kwaya hapa na tuweze kuimba. My sister. Ni sawa tu mtafutaje wimbo? Wanaume tutasimama tutakuja hapa mbele hata sisi tutamsifu Bwana kwa sababu hata nasi tuko na sauti. Wadada tu ndio wanasimama kila wakati ni wadada. Sauti zetu wanaume ziko wapi? Wanaume tuko wapi katika kumwimbia Mungu? Asante dada yangu. And I'm coming to close. I'm coming to close in the next 5 7 minutes. Bwana asifiwe. God is good. And all the time. Mzito kama ke. Kulipinduka. Wale wanaume 24 na 4 naona kani kama wa mama. But God is good all the time. Ma baba tunawapenda sana. Nataka kuimba wimbo unasema Mungu aliniumba ni muabudu. Ju mimi hiyo ni kipawa nilipewa niweke hiyo kazi. Is
to the end and I almost all over this country. Kama to my Gabana Naye. I'm a Tosekiria, to the Sekiriana Pamoja, Hajai to Acha Kama Familia. Kwa hivyo tunahisi ya kwamba kuna gap ambayo imejengeka vile Zak ametuacha. He has been one of our brothers. Lakini kama vile wananaji wamesema hapa, mungu yuko na mungu anajua ambayo tutafanya badai. Hata tuacha, mungu hata tuacha na anajua nani atajaza lile tengo ambayo zaki amewacha our sister ambayo amewacha na watoto wadogo tunasema ya kwamba kama familia please ni vizuri tuweze kujua vile wataishi kule njoro kwa sababu tunasikia kwamba security ambayo ilikuwa ni yake imetoka ingawa tunafahamu ya kwamba tunajua ya kwamba Mungu ako naye Kikuwa familia zote pamoja Please to you, tungane pamoja Kile zaki alikuwa na upendo Tuweza kudhimisha ule upendo Kwenye amewacha Kwa familia yote nzima Tuswe na tumoja ambaye tenyenye Ataenda upandole mingina kando Tue ya kwamba tumefanya kinyume na zaki Asanteni na asanteni Na mungu abariki kila mtu Na mungu aweke loho yake maribemba peponi Asanti sana, asanti sana mdu yangu basi wanaume ni wakati wetu sasa Wacha tusikie sauti hizi zetu mzito Wanaume na waomba kwa heshima tu Kwa heshima kama ni menyenyekea chini kabisa Tusimame ata chifu wetu Tusimame na tunakuja kumsifu wana na wimbo moja Wanaume tusimame Wanaume hili kwa ya wanaume There's a challenge, there's a challenge The men, the men let us rise for this song Tafadhali, tafadhali, tafadhali Tupe sauti nzuri, tupe nzuri
Saka alipeona na Mwenyezi Mungu na yeye ndiye amekuja kumshukua. Tusiuli Mungu hakuna mtu anaweza kumuuliza maswali ni kutosheka. Juge ate nega iwahe ya nile sakari na niweweka ate ya washokera na gai dora gio kiulia ithe nanyi na wasakari mwuri ya kristiano wa rumu mwuri ya nyumere ili ya dira ali hateka ine na nye doka kumumere ili ya kure heke ya dage ya kwa mwane hakore ili ya adwa wa the mokete haa hamwa naka nitha wito wa katholiki na alatashwa wa the mokete mokete kure heke ya de nige za mwane hakore ili ya nitodo nega iwahe ya nile sakari agire dira kinya mwana wa shiaru wa mwode doge mwuri ya kiuri ya Mwodwa igira mwoda wa katari umiji ikorete Aladhi agatu wa umiji ere retu wa nekegu Ere retu wa nenyoni neguo Tono neo ye na sama Na kia igira mwoda wa ke Nyaro nile sakare Maudu mwari ya lutete Na kweda makere hawi Kogo nye gweda kuomere liya famere Alutiawera Asiari yake Nara na mutumi yake Nasi ya nasi yake Na nyue mwokete goko mwigwe mwemoshie Na demwere negenete Father, tole ya kenu, nekoro gama na furorio na mahoya. Todo hau to kinyete, furorio hale orare tiho gere, none todo wa mahoya manyu, ma kilisiano, mwana hale katugia na gedula no kena dhayo, na tike eto kege, nekwe hoka agai. Hedele odeo ke hoka agai. Dukore la. Netura shokeri ya kilisiano gado, mudu wadhe wangura aroga mina na furorio yo, turona ke hoto gito. Na turona, Diri kari ego eteke la kanida ohu ujie. Neto doge tuwela ati oku ya gete ohi ya kanida. Gotile kanida ya gaida kuhiguo. Kore maudumara maa ya kuhiguo. Kwa kwa nyedi kweda kwa ria mono. Kweda kwa mutigera hau. Da mwela kwa kweta kwa igwa mete. Igwa mete finest 001. Mwa igwa mwe moshie. Mujisikia muka nyubani. Na muna ogoso wa na mama ambaye mshuja. Ambaye na ogopa mwenyesi mungu. God bless you all and thank you so much. Thank you wadiyo sister, asanti sana Basi minafunga hapo Na wakati kifika Mwenye atapewa nafasi ya kurubisha shukurani Atakewe ni Grace Jambi Kwa hivyo aweze kujiandaa kwa maneno Kwa sabu kuna maneno mengi unasema wakati wa vote of thanks Mimi ambaye nimekua nikisema nanyi Mimi jinalangu na hituwa Sam Kiguru Au mimi ni kazi ni wa Zakaria Na Zakaria amekua kifanya kazi Ofisi yangu Ule muda muda kiasi Ndiyo amekua kifanya na mimi Na watakia kila raheri na kanisa sasa na fasi nye Tumsifuni Yesu Kristo Asante sana mwenzangu MC Ambayo umetuongoza katika kipindi hicho Umetuongoza kwanjia nzuri na kila mtu wamefuraia Sasa ni wakati ambapo tutaingia katika kipindi kingine Ambapo tutaongozo na fadha wetu Na na waomba sana Tunapo anza ibada yetu ya misa Tunawaomba sana sana kwa hekima ama kwa heshima ambapo ulipo uzime simu yako ama uweke vibration ama silence mode silent mode tafadhali tunawaomba father father wetu karibu sana hapa na utuongoze kwa ibada ya misa karibu
tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Mungu ni mwema. Na penda kwanza kumshukuru Padre wa parukia hii Father Simon ambaye amekubali tuendelee na hii sherehe ya kumsidikiza ndugu yetu Zack. Na ninaomba kama venye tumeulizwa siku ya mazishi tumpe huyu rafiki yetu muda wetu masaa yetu kwa sababu hiyo ndio wakati wa mwisho unaweza pea zak masaa yako nguvu yako na yote ambayo imekuleta kwa hivyo zote juu tumekuja mazishi tushikane pamoja mpaka tutakapofika na kumaliza kaburini tunaelewana wa Kristo tutakubaliana tufanye hayo kwa hivyo hata wale ambao wamekuja soko hata nyinyi mjiunge na sisi kwa mazishi mtauza baadaye si mtawanunulia baadaye kwa hivyo kwa sasa ndio nimepewa na father mamlaka niongoze hapa wale ambao wanauza huko nje wana MC wasitusumbue wakati wa sala tununue vitu baada ya mazishi ili tuweze kuomba pamoja naomba pia msamaha kwa sababu najua tuko katika jurisdiction ya jimbo la Nyahururu na sisi tumetoka Rift Valley Siwezi sema misa kwa kikuyu. Mtaniwia radhi. Lakini nitachanganya kwenye nitawe taweza. Sasa wa Kristo. Asanteni. Kwa hivyo naomba zote tusimame tuanze sala. Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Bwana awe nanyi. Dugu, dugu na jamaa mliopo hapa naomba sana tushirikiane kumwombea huyu dugu yetu Zack Jijenga apate kusamehewa na kuondolewa dhambi zake Mungu ampokee kwake mbinguni aweze kufurahi pamoja na malaika na watakatifu na jamaa zake waliomtangulia nasi tutakapoaga dunia tumkute huko mbinguni utajibu na kusema na kulilia katika unyonga wangu ewe kinga yangu ya katika unyonga wangu ewe kinga kutoka viridini na kulilie bwana uisikie sauti yangu sikiliza sauti ya dua zangu kitikio na kulilia katika unyonga wangu ewe kinga yangu kama we ugesabu maovu kama usike rehemu kati yetu zote nani angesimama ninakulilia katika unyonga wangu ewe kinga yangu kwako msamani mwingi na neema zote na fadhili kwako bwana uko mbozi wa zidi ninakulilia kwa nyongo wangu ewe kinga yangu nimegoja bwana roho yangu imemgoja neno lake nimelitumainia na kushukuru na kukubilia katika unyonga wangu ewe kinga yangu na sasa tumuombe sasa Mungu atutie nguvu ya kupokea msiba huu kwa imani na hasa mwenzake wa ndoa watoto wake na wazazi wake na familia yake bwana wetu Yesu Kristo Uliyetuonyesha jia endao kwa baba yetu wa mbinguni Bwana utuhurumie. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, ulieleta uzima duniani kwa kifo chako. Kristo utuhurumie. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, uliyetayarisha makao yetu mapya katika nyumba ya baba. Bwana utuhurumie. Tuombe. E Bwana, usikilize sala zetu sisi tunaokuomba sana huruma yako kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako za jenga Tunakuomba pia watazame hawa watumishi wako familia yake na si zote tunaomboleza wape nguvu za kuvumilia msiba huu kwa imani ujalie sisi zote tuliokutanika hapa tukutane siku moja na ndugu zetu mahali ambapo machozi yote ufutwa na tunaomba hayo kwa jia ya Kristo bwana wetu Baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni Utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi walio tukosea usitutie katika kishawishi lakini utuopoe maovuni amina salamu maria umejaa neema bwana yu nawe umebarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote na yesu mzaa wa tumbo lako amebarikiwa maria mtakatifu mama wa mungu tuombe sisi wako
Kwa mwaza nini kwa uthea idha uti kerelia na wega mahoya ini maito Unigaya darelea wetu kia wito teine wa moro guo Kwa wali ukile kuma kore akuo Akuo ke Okuo kereleka Otome mwe hoko wito teine wa hili oko Wako li okakona Kwa dugata shiaku Omeredio na wekeru wa hiya Kwa hoyo gwenedo wa kristo mwaza ni wito
wakati ambapo mtoto anazaliwa inakuwa ni wakati wa furaha na tukua tunaenda kuamkuana katika hiyo boma na tunaenda tunasema tumeenda kufanya nini huwa mama tunasema tunaenda kufanya nini kukunywa chai ya nani mtoto yupi mgeni mara nyingi tunasema mgeni na kwa hivyo inamaanisha bwana gakuru zak yeye alikuwa mgeni na wakati wa mgeni ukifika arudi kwao si lazima arudi hata sisi tunajua zote kama una mgeni mgeni akija awe mgeni asijifanye mwenye mwenyeji si mnajua kuna wageni wanafanya hivyo anakuja anasema nitakuja kukutembelea anakaa siku ya kwanza anaenda hivyo anamaliza wi mpaka unaenda unajiuliza kwa mkutano kwani huyu mtu hapo na mpango wa kurudi hamjambo kwa hivyo inafika baadhi hata unamwambia he mama nani ama baba nani sasa kweli ulikuwa mgeni wetu lakini na sisi tunataka kwenda kidogo ikao hautaki kwenda kwa sababu mgeni wake ni kwenda kutembea na kuru kwa hivyo hata wale ambao tuko wageni tusikatalie hapa turudi wapi nataka kusema nini zak ni mgeni na siku zake za kuwa mgeni zimekwisha na hiyo ndio hali ya maisha yetu kama wanadamu lakini mgeni akitoka kwenye ameenda ugenini anarudi wapi kwa mwenye alitoka kwake kwa Bwana na hiyo ndio safari yetu zote kila mmoja wetu na kila mtu hapa ana siku yake ya kurudi kwao na kurudi kwa Mungu Baba na maana yetu ya kujumuika hapa ni kwa sababu tunataka kumwaga huyu ndugu yetu tukiwa na matarajio mwenye alimuumba atampokea kwake na hii desturi ambayo tunafanya sio desturi ya jana katika somo la kwanza katika kitabu waraka wa, katika kitabu cha pili cha makabayo tumesikia ya kwamba Yuda mfame na kiongozi wa wana wa Israeli ukienda usome kidogo historia ya wana wa Israeli utasikia kuna kitu ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa the Maccabean revolt na huo ni wakati mmoja ambao ulikuwa na uchungu sana kwa wana wa Israeli kwa sababu walipigwa sana na maadui na watu wao wengi wao wakafa lakini licha ya yale machungu walipata kwa sababu ya hiyo vita walifanya nini kiongozi wao akawapa mpango akawaambia akaja na kikapu akawaambia tuchange fedha hapa na tunaambua waliweza kuchanga vitu kama drachma kama elfu mbili wakaja kati hizo baada ya hayo walifanya nini walichukua zile fedha wakaelekea mpaka Yerusalemu walielekea Yerusalemu kwa sababu gani Yerusalemu ndipo kulikuwa na hekalu lake Mwenyezi Mungu na wakachukua zile fedha kama ishara ya kwenda kumtolea Mwenyezi Mungu ili Mungu afariji na ya pili walitaka kwenda huko wakiombea wafu wao na ni jambo la kipekee sana kuota kuona katika kitabu cha agano la kale nyakati hizo wanaongea kuhusu ufufu ufufuko na kwa hivyo wanaenda kumtolea sala wale ambao walikuwa wamepotea na hivyo ndivyo tunavyofanya kumwombea ndugu yetu zake <coughs> ni ishara yetu kwake Mwenyezi Mungu katika hii sadaka ambayo sisi tunaadhimisha kama wakatoliki ni sadaka ya Yesu Kristo katika hatari tunamkabidhi pia huyu ndugu yetu kwa msaada wake Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kumsamehe note hatukuji kuombea mtu kwa sababu alikuwa mbaya na hatukuji kumwambia kwa sababu alikuwa mzuri sana jambo moja linafanya tumkumbuke huyu kwa sala katika ibada ya misa ni kwa sababu siku moja hata kupitia watoto wake alijikabidhi kwa Mungu ama akakabidhiwa kwa Mungu na akawa mwana wa Mungu na akaitwa jina la ule mzee Zakaria 
kwa nini tumekuja hapa kumuombea katika katikizimu yetu ya dini ya imani katoliki tunafundishwa katika katikizimu kuna kanisa tatu kuna kanisa ngapi tatu nani anazijua anakoa ni nini kwa karibu na mimi kanisa hizo tatu ni gani na gani Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Kuna kanisa tatu. Kanisa ya kwanza ni kanisa ya wanaosafiri. Inaitwa The Pilgrim Church. Na sisi zote ambao tuko hapa ni wa hiyo kanisa ya inayosafiri. Safiri. Na hii kanisa ambayo inasafiri ina advantage kadhaa. Moja yako ya uzuri wa hii kanisa ni kwamba hii kanisa na ambaye wewe na mimi ni wa hiyo kanisa unaweza jiombe? Jiombe. Na pia unaweza ombea wengi? Wengine. Hiyo ni kanisa ya wasafiri. Lakini hii kanisa bado haijafika iko safari ukuwa kwa safari lazima ugoje utafika kwenye unaenda kwa hivyo hii kanisa sisi zote tunasafiri tukiwa na tumaini ya kufika mbinguni so we are on a, on a, we are sojourners we are pilgrims headed to heaven numura yule ndiraiga kanitha uyo kuraiga wandu ari amaye uturo ni uli kanitha wa gedi na mugedi dare hedi ya giuga ni akinyire na dakete atia na dakinyete todo wa hota kuekera muiteo ate kumare ria damenyire kristo kana ria damenyire ne kuri uhonokio ni ne ginyete no dokinye mukinyete kanitha wa ke wa gedi kanitha wa keri ni uliko ni azak akina zak dio kanisa ya tatu zak hata hajui chenye kinaendelea hawezi jiombea na ndio sasa kama wana wa makabayo wa wakati wa huo wa makabayo katika hilo somo tumesikia ndio tunakuja basi kama wana wa watu wale wa Israeli walioenda hekaluni tumeleta zaka hekaluni tunaleta sana zetu kwa sababu onagege ya dage kathia dage hoera ni uruko hoera zaka ni uruko hoera ali makwite asha todo iho ya dito to aho ya ni rebu ikodu thini wa muturire wake kuligana na kile areteke because tena kuna tofauti tunaweza kuja hapa tunamuombea tuna na kumbe zaki alikuwa amesema kwa moyo wake mimi mambo ya huyo kristo sita so hata tukimuombea hata tukisema tumemuombea na hakutaka hiyo hatuwezi badilisha lakini sisi tunamuombea kwa sababu tunatumaini ya kwamba alimpenda nani Yesu Kristo na akakubatia Kristo katika ubatizo wake na pia katika sakramenti ya kipaimara Hiyo ni kanisa gani ya wafu Na ndio tunaenda kwa kanisa kuombea wafu kwa sababu hawezi jiombea lakini tukiwaombea kuna jambo linatendeka Na moja hapo ya matendo ya huruma ya mwanadamu ni kuombea nani wafu Kwa hivyo kama we huwa unafanya sala na hakuna wakati unakumbuka wafu sala yako inapungukiwa kwa sababu ha huyu na wengine wanahitaji sala zako. Kanisa ya tatu ni gani? Sasa mnajua ni Meli. Kanisa hiyo nyingine ya tatu ni gani? Ya wale wameshinda. Wale wameenda katika utukufu wa Mungu, malaika na watakatifu. Na hao wamepita mambo ya kuombewa. Wamepita hata mambo ya kuomba. Wao ni kumtukuza Mwenyezi Mungu. Na uzuri wa hiyo kanisa ya wale ambao wameshinda ni kutuombea sisi ambao tunasafiri na pia kuombea wa wafu. Na ndio mtasikia katika kanuni ya misa wakati katika hiyo sala ya ekaristia kuna kutaja wale ambao wameaga. Na kwa hivyo ombi letu ombi langu na lako ni kwamba siku moja tufike hiyo kanisa ya utuku ya utukufu but kufika hiyo kanisa ya utukufu lazima kila mtu afanye kazi 
na kazi moja ambayo itakufanya ufika katika kanisa ya utukufu kanisa wa hotani no ginya uga ni wende tega kai no ginya koro inago hata neno nao na kai haitakuwa automatic kuna msemo wa imani unasema god nitafafanua shosho god who created us without us dai wate adu Kayola watu bila totali ho will not save us without us. Daga tokora totali ho. Yule Mungu aliyekuumba bila kukuhusisha hata kuokoa bila wewe kuhusika. Ni mradi kwa. Kwa hiyo no gya wonanie na mutorero waku ni wendete Ngai. Na ni boga tu ka wako ga yotoroshi wa tene na tene. Na kwa hivyo tunapokuja hapa mchana wa leo kumwombea huyu ndugu yetu. Kitu moja inatupa furaha hapo ndani ni kwamba alisema anapenda huyo Mungu. Na tunaomba ya kwamba sara zetu zitamfanya asonga so. Eh eh Zak. Kwa sababu wewe unaenda ukifika hapo mlangoni kwa mbinguni wampie Petro. Eh Petro unajua mimi nilibatizwa. Unajua pia siku ya mzuri ya mjambo lakini bado nisongeshe kido. Do you have something to bargain with? ya god ugo ni god roria we he kindu wikite ogithaita ni ana kyo kuingai kwa sababu hiyo dia maana na dio basi tunafundishwa katika hilo ya kwamba tusiogope kuombea wafu ili Mwenyezi Mungu awahurumie na awakaribishe kwake mbinguni katika somo la injiri katika somo la injiri Yesu Kristo anasema na kushukuru wewe baba wa bingu na nchi kwa sababu mambo haya umewaficha wenye hekima na akili ukawafunulia nani watoto wachanga mambo gani mambo haya ya wokovu maodumaya mao honokio matirama kani yoliothomete na matirama kani yoliawi mara niko niko kwina thina agikoro ndu wikira uhoro wa kumenya ngai goro ine ke yaku na niko ithu othe twe ha o ria mundu ukire he mu he ukiro wa kamera he ria wa dj haria he ria uredia matunda zati arako nilikanio muthi umuthi uko ndu e ngai uthie wike atia wishuranie no ngena gwatanirwa nau na ngai Nebuo gekuo kiole getika atweke ke ya tuho No koroza kuno ko bogo to mohono kewe No go tire hete to kuhono ka ge korone to gwetua imenyi To no kristo ya ya atreri kafato ana tonini ne to kirete imenyi na johe na johe ba No ne kiadu mateda ga ngai ni undu wa gwetua ria mo moi Kana toka ya gai time nie gai ne goka kuriwe dere age we gai ya ko bire dere daga kana dere ari agereire nie daga yes no ne age ko bi wewe na mimi uhusiano wako na Mungu kwa api na mambo imani ndugu zangu ni vizuri tu yachukulie kwa jia unyenyekevu sana Na swali moja kila mtu ataulizwa tutakapoenda huko mbinguni Mungu atakuuliza kwa nini huku karibia haukukaribia na kuwa na uhusiano mwema na mimi Swali ni hii utaweza kujibu <laughs> Najua mara nyingine huwa naona Jua hata mimi mara nyingine nimeijua na hiyo kiburi lakini mara nyingine huwa tunasahau ya kwamba Mungu ana njia zake za kueleza habari yake. Mara nyingine ukienda kwa hali kama unasafiri ama unaenda huko town ya Hururu ama Nakuru ama Nairobi wherever, mara nyingine nadhani watu wa Mungu na wa Kristo mnaona kuna watu ambao huwa wanachukua microphone, anachukua Bible na anaanza kuhubi, kuhubiri. Na mara nyingi hebu deni muangalia hata leo. Watu hao kuna watu wengi wanasimamaga kuwasikiza hapana kwa sababu wanaitakwa mama wahubiri wa mtaa wahubiri wa mtaa 
Lakini swali ni hii. Huyo mtu kuna mtu anaongelesha? Yes. Yes. Eh hey, mimi kama padre nitapita hapo niseme ah ah these are cheap preachers. Me have done theology. Lakini huyo mtu kuna mtu anaongea naye hapo? Yes. Kwa sababu mtu hawezi tumia hata huyu mtoto akiamka aweze kuhubiri pale center Mungu ndiye ameamua mtumie na kuna mtu anaenda kufikia. Lakini shida yenye imekuja ni nini? Hata sisi wahubiri badala ya kuhubiri neno la Mungu tunapelekaga kiburi chetu kwa pulpit. Tunaonyesha venye sisi tumesoma, tunaonyesha watu venye sisi kanisa yetu ni kubwa. Kwa hivyo chenye kina maana ni munione mimi badala ya muone ujumbe wa ye kwa yes, hiyo tu itafanya tuchomeke zote paka wahubiri kwa sababu totidi yako huji ohorore ya mwela totidi yako weka hapia kwe hujia nakaige hadwa kwe hujia na uwe kia toke tonya mutoto you see and the problem is that we disorient people from the message And the other scandal in the world, the other one is that Christo division. Mega yokano. Oko na fala tida ake 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 shabi ya mohuji ya CK na ko na ake wa furubos pe tida ake hora na na fala na Korea tora na gya ke kinya idua hujia. No wa wa yobe ya mo do no mo mohujiya. The favor you get, use it for the favor of the glory of God. Of God. And that to ask you to hear, gay karo kya mashi kya ma kya mashi dano. No ena Christo ige. No mohuji amo no. To kaya tia ko mohuji hadwa to mohuji ekri. Christo. Mwoko ndako jira ga inia kena ga aiko ha he kanizo roga mete ni kioga atoka na hemu ga inia kena jioni mau do mau never no ga inia kena jioni mau jori ora hujeri ari ame kore atau ni matai gua goho kono koro ena ena chilingi kumi mohuko because jira shia ga i toti shioi ga i no shio and the message of God is this wacheni watu watu waje kwa kuangu. Na sisi ambao pia tunajiita wa Kristo ama waamini lazima tujue kwamba pia tuenda weigerereki wako aga kuteana discrimination Because netwada akorora na muno kuligana uri atwetiketie Lakini Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa watu wote na ndio Mungu anatuambia katika ujumbe wa injili ya leo Yesu Kristo anatuambia kwamba John wote John wote hata wale mmelemewa na mizigo timerigo yao haruna bebe mirigo yako ya goro Ana say say Tukiageria wetu ugage dia de wakanida no yo dadi yakani Tuagerile wetuogiri ya kani tu menye tegai. One, tuafanya kritiki. Ito wetu gane tu eteketie. Neto kusha gerele ya duwale ama teteketie wetu kwe gai. Kai gende kumaigata tuwe kaka hatia. Tumaigata ka. Ni ya masho kete kuru wa mbono. Ni ya ya mata diya maka nida kaka lege. Ni ya ya madia kaka nida. Ni odo waka. Kristo witu ashe jidie. Kawe goshi waga yu direte ati mudoro rago eta kristu na kanuwa nwe urone kena challenge. Ni atu wa igana, ni meshi yere kwe na digano. Ni atu wa lea mwana iga mwa igai kanarea, mwa iga kia kanarea matawa igai. Everybody, luto kori yate, who's the difference between? Otiganu wa kukoka kanidano ule otaro kare weha. Mwono na atu wa lato gia kanida hali atura gia na challenge. Because we are not benchmarking for Christ. Totila hea to range. Ati wete kia gai dize range. Followers. That's the problem. However, again, when I was at the Akanida, remember one thing. 
wande oge ka kugato e Kristo Yeri o gadi e gete ine geo tamaki re re wa koro go e shiri danio ne o kori a tere re mo de mo e shiga na mo de mo e fourteen fourteenth October twenty twenty o me nya mo de nyo yele mo a deke e fuku ine re a gai we u gadi e gagi danio ba a gai o me nya gai ne a ga kori a no a hu je irio ne mo fe a oke te a ki uga we de gai e no a i buiri o rochio ye di uri uga shokia to do shiro ga kona mo ene ke shira nado asam se ado ito forori ito ne ke ito di e yo ba ine a gai wana watu wa makabao waliona ni kweli wana shida walielekea wapi hawakwenda kwa vita na mishale na buduki walielekea kwa Mungu na sadaka za zao wa mtolee Mwenyezi Mungu that's the only solution and yet me i'm telling you say for the fact that we have some leaders here politicians nobody will ever make a promise bokiragai na gutire mundu gatuma tuikare wega na ta bururi wa Kenya gukirau gai Kuko Now the formula is different. No ginya tushokiero weke. Kogo shokiero we mokaroku. Na gushoka nyumba ine aga. Ya gai. Mzee wanaume twendeni kwa nyumba ya Mungu. Hata Yesu Kristo alipelekwa hekaruni na nani? Hakupelekwa na mama Maria peke yake, alipelekwa pia na nani? Na Yusufu. So make a fundamental choice today I beg you. Igirai nyumba ya Gai. And we are going to conquer all these challenges. Kwa sababu yule mtu ambaye anajua Mungu akipiga magoti amuite Mwenyezi Mungu Gai ni amweteka? Ndio <laughs> Ati wacha tumuingize huu tulimjua nini nini tusiwe tunafanya mambo kama tuna struggle Ivan mm. Bari Isaac na kuja kumzika kwa sababu namjua mm. namjua kwa <coughs> kwa modo yake yatea hadu hagodi kwa wape weke yatea mm. wezike mm. amen mm. tumsifu Yesu Kristo mm. ili tuweze kupata uzima wa milele tumsifu Yesu Kristo mm. bwana asifiwe mm. nao nitasema jambo la mwisho kuna kuna desturi mimi napenda kuna desturi ya waluya waluya anafanya hivi wanaongea na maiti mwelega kwa nini ngoja na kadeno mmoja tekra ajalie nayo amen tumsifu Yesu Kristo zak zak unajua wewe Ulimpenda Mungu na ukabatizwa. Wende te Gai. Na ito uko hoera Gai. Akwe hererie ihe gacio de ile gege dio ti iguru. Amen. Amen. Todwe za kire mwerale mwega no rege dorale mwa. Ite de twali ima kana tiguo. Onako ni ni teo ha no kwiro ka odo atari kega ga kwa neguo. So ya ben orale mwega no badu. He he dio tarale mwa. Ga ya ko igwereza. Amen. Number two, Zach, Zach, Umeenda. Na hivyo kaya family maada kireole ya kuga, matika hu yoboro. Zach, Umeenda. Na kama Umeenda tafadhali, enda sala? Yes. Salama? Yes. Zach, dole merigo wa atika woko uzi. Kaini ya gweta, na wira wakunu ya katia? Masha. Diyo horo. Amen. Kwa nini nasema hivyo? 
kwa nini na, na, na pia zaka ende kwa sababu zaka ameenda na sisi watu ambao tunaitwa wakristo tuachae kuleta wenye walikufa kwa, kwa mawazo yetu na maisha yetu wakati wameenda wameenda wamefanya nini wameenda ate nuwe shosho atana kuwa ni age tere hero ngodu ya mweli omwe tole ya kristo kana tole ya dwao doire amen na nange hapa nikijua ndio amenya haya na adhuri kinya kiama no no ginya destudi zito si adamane na mapenzi ya kri ya kristo na mungu when somebody dies let them rest in peace amen uweza to to raiga do kae guthubura do we no ako makomadha amen to sifi ya kristo na ido eto atiko ado a family na kristo tureke za kiye kiatea ahuleke za ayo na za kidali dire atiga baba za mwana ke wa kuna ali kiye ra ke ma de ke ya huruke za ayo na tware ka huruke za ayo na ke gai ne kumuheke alikimalizia kwa mama mjane Nejoe kumalele amuduri yo aku akuire okoretwo ke yuria zaki ara kuire neke kai gutagira kuire mu wae wae zak na ode time utauliza iyo 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 swali mama yenga ya basi bonye siko mama siko ukiuliza iyo swali ni kwa nini zak kwa nini zak mungu hata kujibu Ruo turagiye maru ukeraga ya terere gai kuikatea and god will answer you amen god will answer you todo na ithe ni mathi na maria tukoragwa mwa tungitira tukiuria kari ni niki ni ni niki god will never answer that never ask god why todo na capacity dole na authority ya kuuria gai why god is god no ria gai ni kana ni ahi and god will bless you kwa hivyo ndugu zangu tuombe hii familia tuombe huyu mama tuombe wazazi kwa sababu pia inasemekana ajue uchungu wa mwana ni mzazi tuombe tuombe na mungu atawatendea mema tumsifu yesu kristo Hivyo kwa sasa nigeomba wote tuinuke tuweze kuwa na sala za ulimi. Naria makale ya kado ni kumoti na mbele wa kumele dia tukikara mono. Mwenyezi Mungu amependa kumuita kwake huyu ndugu yetu Zaki Gakuru Jenga kutoka uzima huu. Tumombe huyu ndugu yetu Zaki kakurujega kwa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyesema mimi dimi ufufuo na uzima kwa kuomba mweke miongoni mwa watakatifu na watoro wako huyu ndugu yetu aliyesafishwa kwa maji ya ubatizo na kupaka mafuta matakatifu kwa kuomba utusikie kwa kuomba umpe umpokee mbinguni huyu ndugu yetu Zak aliyekula kalamu na mwili wa ya mwili na damu yako kwa kuomba utusikie Tusali kwa ajili ya wale wote wanaoteswa ili wasifikiri hata mara moja kwamba wameachwa na Mungu. Kwa kuomba utusikie. Tusali kwa ajili ya ndugu zetu marehemu wote ili Mwenyezi Mungu apende kuwapokea katika ufalme wake mbinguni. Kwa kuomba utusikie. Salam Maria. Amen. Maria mtakatifu mama wa Mungu. 
Tuombe sisi wako sefu. Sasa na sasa kwa kwetu. Mungu mumba wote. Uzijalie roho za marehemu ndoro ya dhambi zao zote. Kwa mombezi yetu apate msamaha leo tumainia daima na tunaomba hayo kwa jina ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Amen. Tumsifuni Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Mwana ni Yabosho. Ah kahinda gaka ni kahinda kega. Ah tukuleta leo shito ni todo igogo na lelele ya ndugu zake. Na niko hoya asa share meko na tukizili correction na barita nigela tukinike ke suji ni tuke ke Yesu Kristo. wana ambao watapokea mwili na damu ya Yesu Kristo katika misa hii ya Zak kwa ishara tu anionyeshe kwa mkono. Ogoroni kwa mkono wa kona milele, ujoele guoko tu ihari yoni.
yangu na yenu kubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Wewe pia tio dawa mete ni twako hoya udhabie duka tashi ya duka tena ya kuleketi ya kumuita deni wa dakama ya Kristo edere kuma madahu mayo nigeza oalia wadirie na mai mau fatido umatuya di gufio na mega wa head wa dashi yaku na jira magogona maya turakurutira na twahoyo gune do Kristo mwadha ni to Kana no magakua asio maho radio ne ne kiraniro kia utoro wa wa tene na tene amu ete kia kumwadani ma kwa utoro wa ma kwa utoro wa tuko tuko garuro garura guo na tuko dekio no makiria ni muda muda maadi ino gikaro gikaro ne mahia guo geta diraga ikenero ine. Kogo tu hamu na raika raika nene raika raika lilite na raika dani hamu na kutoa sio deshi ikenero leto kuina ruibor wa ukumi wa kutoa tayari wote kideria topiuga ga. Unavitia uzima vitu vyoto wala na kuvitaka kufuza 
wana huachi kuwakusanya watu kwako ili toka moyo wa jua hata macho yake wakutolee tabiu safi kwa jina lako basi ya bwana tunakusihi kunyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili uvitakaze upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili viwe mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkate akakufuru akabariki akaumega na kwa papasi wake akisema twaeni mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Hivyo hivyo baada ya kura akitoa kikombe na kushukuru ikibariki na akapa wafuasi wake akisema twaeni mwenye wote hiki ndicho kombe cha damu yangu na mioyo jipya la mlele itakamoika kwa ajili na kwa ajili ya wengi kumondelea dhambi fanye hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu bana tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao na yaleta wakovu pamoja na ufuko wake wa ajabu na kufaa kwake mbinguni tunapotazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii yenye iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uiangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake ujalie si tunao tu nguvu kwa mwenye damu wa mwanao tujaze na roho yake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristo. Yeye afanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilifu ya mlele ili tuweze kupata ulithi pamoja na wateuro wako. Kwanza kabisa pamoja na Bikra Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu, mtakatifu Joseph mwake huyo Bikra na mitume wenye heri na, wat- na mashahidi wako watukufu. Wa na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa mombezi yao mbele zako. Tunakuomba Bwana Huyu aliye kafara upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokovu duniani kote. Upende kulimalishia kanisa imani na mapendo. Kanisa lako linalo safiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco. Askofu wetu Joseph Batia pamoja na maaskofu wote, wakleru wote na watu wote unaofanya kuwa taifa lako. Usikilize poema sala jamaa hii uliyoita mbele yako ikiomboleza. E baba uliye mtakatifu kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwa kwa nao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani Kumbuke mtumishi wako Zakaria Gakuru Wajega uliyemuita kutoka dunia hii Umjalie kwamba yeye ambaye alishirikishwa kifo cha mwanao kubatizo hali kadhalika ashiriki ufuko wake Siku ambapo utawafufua wafu katika miili yao kutoka ardhini hapo utakufananisha mwili yetu hapo utakufananisha mwili wa unyonge wetu na mwili wa utukufu wake pia wapokee kwa wema katika ufamu wako ndugu zetu marehemu na watu waliaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza na tunatumaini kufika katika ufamu huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako ndipo utakapofuta kila chozi katika macho yetu maana kukuona we Mungu wetu kama ulivyo tutafanana naye milele yote na kusifu bila mwisho. Kwa jina ya Kristo Bwana wetu ambaye kwa jina yake unaojalia ulimwengu mema yote. Kwa jina yake pamoja naye na ndani yake. Wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu. Unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele
tumetujua ya kwamba tunamwabudu huyo Mungu mmoja licha ya madhehebu yetu ama dini zetu kijua zote ni wa Kristo naomba wote tusimame tusali ile sala aliyotufundisha bwana wetu tukisema baba yetu uliye mbinguni na lako lifukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi waliotukosea usitie katika kishawishi lakini tuokoe bwana tunakuomba tuokoe katika mambo yote Utujalie kwa imani amani maisha ni mwetu kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuokoe daima na dhambi wala tufadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini na nyeheri na ujua mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo Mfalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo uliwaambia mitume wako amani na waachieni amani yangu na wapa usisitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako Upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama alivyo wapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala daima na milele. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi wote. Tutakiane hiyo amani. Tusalimiane. Mpenzi mtazameni huu dia Kristo mwana kutoa Mungu adoe dhambi za ulimwengu na heri hao walialikwa kwenye karamu
tuombe Tunamtazamia mwokozi bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ataka kubadili mwili wetu wa unyonge upate kufanana na mwili wake wa utukufu. Tuombe e Mungu mwenye Yesu na kuomba umjarie mtumishi wako Zaka Gakuru Jega ambaye leo ame, ambaye amefariki dunia hii atakazwe na dhabihu hii na kuondolewa dhambi zake apate furaha ya milele ya ufuko kwa jia ya Kristo bwana wetu amen tafadhali tuketi Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Uh, kwanza ni kumshukuru Father wetu kwa, tu, kwa kutuongoza katika ibada ya misa ambapo ametuongoza kwa njia ambayo ni njia mzuri Father tunashukuru sana. Wakati huu tunaingia katika kipindi kingine ambapo tutasomewa yuruji na ningeomba ambao walizo na walio na hizo nakala waweze kuzipeana hapa ndio tuweze kwenda kwa pamoja. Tafadhali Jai wangu alitoroka. Basi naomba ka padri acha maybe quiet uimbage kidogo as we go around as we give the programs just for a minute or so. Programs eh, zikuje. Haraka haraka. Ninge kumwalika na tuongoza katika kusoma hiyo uruji Akaribia hapa tafadhari Bwana siwe Luga no Lwa Zakaria Jega Gakuru Kushero wa Zakaria Jega The rate Zakaria Jega Gakuru Popularly known as Zak Was born on 20th August 1980 In Pia Vindoro Nakulu County He was the first born child of Mr. James Jenga And Miss Mili Wachiko Jenga His other siblings are Elizabeth Joki Mugwema Peter Kama Ujega, John Wawel Ujega, and Lucy Wanjiru Karanja Education. He joined Ghana Primary School and then later transferred to Pasenga Primary School in Nyandalwa County. He later joined Harambee Kalsa Secondary School in Akuru Town for his secondary education 
until 1999 employment he was working at Kenya Power in Elda Maravin, Badingo County for a short period of six months and later joined Georgian Properties Limited where he worked in the property department until his demise, marriage. He met and married the loved of his life, Grace Wabuiga Kuru, in 2006. They were blessed with three children, Maso Wanjiku, Monica Wangari, and James Jenga Church. Zach has been a Catholic since his childhood and was baptized and confirmed later by the late Cardinal Emeritus Bingi Monanzeki while he was Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nakulu. General life. The late Zach has generally been a healthy person during his life. He was kind, jolly, and an easygoing person. He lived in Piavi Center in Jolo and was also passionate about farming. Death. Zach met his ultimate death in the early hours of Sunday, 9th October 2022, at his home. He leaves behind his three, his wife and three children, died at the age of 42. Todo me orege, but you miro agekoyo. Oshiro, but you are Zakaria Gakorojeka, Oria. Muno Oikaine Tazak Asheriro Mweri 28th August 1980 Ali Irigidavi ya James Jega Kakuru na Miri Wajiko Jega Asheriro na Elizabeth Joki Mwema Peter Kamau, John Wawelo na Lucy Wajiro Gedomo Mutili Zakaria Abiri Gedomo Dukuruini wa Gano Primary School Pia Vijoro Nyeso kile agedhi Dukuruini wa Pasenga Primary Nyadarwa County Kulia Ekile Kigena Niyo ya KCP Niaso kile akigira dhukuruini wa halabi kansa secondary school na kuru tao mwakaine wa 1996 ginyo mwakaine wa 1999 hili ya ekile kile ni yogi ya KCSE wera Niahe yu wera wa kahida kanini ni kabuni ya Kenya Power kulia kulia Elda Maravin Baringo County Aso kile akia vikuwa ni kabuni ya Jojin Properties Limited Vini ya waru hoge loredi ya wamegoda na nyoba ginyo alili ya ala huru kile Kiko Mia Hero Vera, okay, sorry, Vera. Mia Hero, sorry, Pone, Kiko. Nemasa Manivia, now Makahikania, now Muedoake, Risova Bigaku, Mokainua, two thousand and six. Nemara Ladimito, Nasiana Idato, Nesio Mosavajiko, Monica Wagari, Najim Sidega, Canada. Motei, Zak, Akoleto, a Murumiri, Wakanida, Wakafrik, Kuma Onini Lewake, Korea Ab Fatidio. Nia shokie Ake Ake gile romoko Nemutiga ili kadino emelitas Digi mwananziki E bishop wa diocese yana Yana ikuru Maisa make Mutiga ili zak Akoleto e mudo Wena ugima Mwega mamwiri Mweka ya keode Alani mudo mkeni Na mumado Na uwe Kukuiga urata Alani karaga Pia we center joro Na kuru county Korea Ona kuo Ari Kaga Ulimi. Ige kuo. Mutika ili zaak. Mia ahuru kile kiumia. Musini tene ego wake musi. Mweli keda. Oktomba 2022. Atika mutumia wa kena siyana ilato. Arari na ukuru wa miaka mewagwena na hiri. Thank you mono Peter Kamau. Nyodo wakutu togori ya dino wakutu wama rogano roa yo brada. Najira Jaga, Najira Horeru. Ida rere togo bi ede ino wado ma tributes, tributes tu na tributes ida to. Todo ni gine togo do ma iroha o tuta Najiria. Hena tribute ya kuma kwa wife. Hena tribute ya Asiana. Na hena tribute ya Asiari. So are mana do ma tributes. Neto kuria orora do ma ya wife akuhereria. Negeda to di na bere. Na tukire kia kudo ma tributes Toko igira Toko shokia Mike he mshokia wagado Nigeza nake Atu ure kiri ya umuisho ine
Although you sleep in heaven now, your memory still linger in my heart. Looking back on the years we spent together, brings back a collection of memories shall never be forgotten. It was with the memories with you that we now treasure them with our hearts and souls. Losing a lovely husband like you breaks the unbearable bones. It is the heartache, loneliness, grief, and anger of losing you that, was, that has now filled my heart. Just having the memories of the most special moments we spent together, it shatters my heart losing you. A deep void has been left in my heart. I had tried to save your life as many times as possible because I loved you so much, but this time around was totally difficult. Mom. In front of these people, I promised to take care of our children as you had guided me and directed me. Here are the ones that they love me as well. Thank you so much. Uh, a tribute to my colleague Tribute to the Asiana, Nane Tokohoya, Maku Hereria, and the government to the Merit Tribute. Thank you so much. Pia kwa kutuongoza katika hiyo tribute ya watoto wa Mr. Zak. Uh, wakati huu pia tutaupatia wazazi watusomee tribute ya mtoto wao. Mwenye anatuongoza tafadhali. Asante sana, asante sana uh, father. Uh, kabla turudisha both of thanks, nataka kufanya kitu kimoja na nataka kumuuliza director mwenzangu akuje hapa au uh, bibi ya Zack tafadhali aletwe hapa na watoto. Kwa okay, haraka sana. Mrs. Kigoro, wake up. Come. tafa nafanya hivyo nataka kwa knowledge marafiki zetu ambao wameingia uh, nyumba kutoka Nairobi wana Karanja wa STEM wana Wanyoike wana Washira na wale ambao wameandamana nao tunawakaribisha sana um, nataka kusema hivi uh, mke wa Zack tunataka kukuambia hivi sisi hatutakuacha Zaki amekuwa ni mmoja wetu tumemwajiri na alikuwa anatufanyia kazi na tunaona huko na watoto wadogo hata tunajua kuna ule mdogo ambaye hajafika hapa leo 
na hatutaondoka hatutawacha wewe na nataka Mrs. Kegoro ndiye nataka kumtuika jukumu kusasa yeye ndiye mtakuwa mnaongea na yeye na ndio tutaketi tujue vile tutasaidia tujue ni nini tutafanya na marafiki zangu na watu wangu mtasimama na mimi tujue vile tutasaidia hao watoto kuweza kupata masomo kwa sababu hakuna kitu cha maana zaidi ya hayo kwa hivyo tunataka kuahidi ya kwamba hatutaondoka na ndio nimemuita mke wangu hapa director mwenzangu ya kwamba Mrs. Kegoro utachukua jukumu la kuwa unaongea na huyu mama na tutaketi tutajua vile tutafanya marafiki wetu tukiwaita marafiki zangu nikiwaita tafadhali musimame na mimi jukumu hili tulichukue na ndio hawa watoto tuweze kuelimisha mama hata shindo kupewa watoto chakula lakini mambo ya masomo lazima tusimame na watoto hawa nataka Mrs. Kegoro aseme tu kimoja alafu niweze kumalizia Bwana yetu asifiwe Mimi naitwa Mary Wairimu Kiguru Kiguru ni huyu na nampenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu uh, wakati Zack alituondokea that was on Sunday tulikuwa na uzito mwingi nikauliza Mungu tufanye nini It was very difficult because I knew he had young kids but God continued talking to me that there is nothing impossible with God and I believe that when we are together vile mzee wangu amesema hapa tukiungana pamoja kwa sababu Mungu ametuumba tusaidiane tushikanie na tupendane hawa watoto hawatakosa masomo Hakuna kitu kizuri kama mtoto kupata masomo. Ndio nilikuwa nauliza mzee watoto watasoma namna gani? Akasema Mungu anaweza. Mimi najua hawa watoto watasoma, Mungu atuhifadhi, ahifadhi hawa watoto wengine wa kina Zack. Mama tunawakuombea Mungu akupee neema na watoto wenye wamebaki sasa, sisters na brother wa Zack, Mungu awahifadhi waone uzee wao. Si ndio? According to Psalms 91 he satisfies the righteous with long life. Ningeomba mkae katika nyumba ya Mungu na Mungu atatimiza ahadi zake. Barikieni nyinyi wote. Asante sana kitini chini. Asante sana. Hayo tumesema sio kusema tuna mdomo. Tutatimiza na Bwana atupe uhai, tuhakikishe hawa watoto kwa njia zote ambazo zitawezekana ya kwamba watasoma. Nimeshukuru nikisikia wakati wanazoma tribute unasikia Kiingereza chenye wanasoma. Itakuwa ni jukumu letu. Familia yangu yote pia mtanishika mkono tuweze kusaidia watoto. Nataka kufanya kitu kimoja tu fadha tulisahau na naomba msamaha sana ku recognize wenye wamatupatia hii ground yenye tunafanyia ibada. Asanti yetu kwa kutukubali kutumia uwanja huu. Kama huu uwanja hatungepewa fadha ingekuwa vigumu sana kwa sababu compound ya mzee ni pahali padogo hatungeza kutoshea na ametupea facility yake yote ya kanisa kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana so i want to call uh, grace to give the vote of thanks na baby after that maybe tutakubaliwa tutaombea chakula and i want to give this instruction tukitoka hapa tuende kaburini watu wa catering sijui kama wananisikia chakula itapakuliwa fadha akitoka kaburini hiyo ndiyo saa yenye tutapakua chakula tutaenda sisi wote pale tuzike zak tukishazika zak turudi chakula ni kingi tupate chakula tusiende kaburini na wengine waanza kupakua chakula hiyo hatutafuata leo karibu Chris Praise God. I'm Grace, kama vile mmesikia. Zack is my nephew. Na kama vile nimepewa jukumu, mine is to give a word of thanks. Kwanza kabisa namshukuru Mungu ambaye ametuwezesha kufika hapa. Ama ambaye amelinda huyu Zack 
from the day he was born. We have seen him grow. He was our first nephew, and we got quite excited. And therefore, we have every reason to thank God for the 42 years. It's not a short time. We can be very selfish if we say he has not lived well. We want to thank God so much for our days are numbered, and he has the number of our days. And therefore, we give all glory to God Almighty for he has not wasted his life. Zach has a family, and his lineage will live on. Number two, I want to thank the clergy. Uh, first, we want to thank the priest from this area for giving us an opportunity to come and fellowship here and have our ceremony in this county. We also want to thank the priest who has presided over this uh, very good uh, ceremony. Thank you, Father, for, for the good work. Thank you for the word. You have talked to us. You have strengthened us. And you have even given us an insight. God, God bless you so much. I want to thank the employer of Zach, who has been quite patient with him, who has held his hand since he was a small boy. He has been so good to him. He has accommodated him. He, Zach was a young man, and like any other young man, he had his shortcomings. The boss, Mr. Sami, the genet, uh, limited, you have been so good to him. He has worked, you have worked with him. You have really modeled him. In fact, as you told us yesterday, you, you desired that he may become your, um, you wanted to be a mentor and be like you. We thank God because there is a son in the family and the seed you plant will never die. We thank God for the uh, colleagues. You have been so instrumental in the life of Sam, Sam, I mean, Zach. In a great way, I want to thank Sylvester, who usually wake up every day and meet with Zach in the morning. And I believe even that very last day, he's a man who really had a bigger conversation with him than all of us. I happened to talk to him that Saturday and he was good, but I believe that Sylvester walked with him and talked until very late, and therefore receive our thanksgiving for being a friend to our son. The entire Georgian Enterprise, thank you so much. You have been so helpful to this family. You made sure that these children ate, because that is where he got his daily bread. I want to thank friends who have been so good to us. In fact, we have no words as a family. Friends from Nakuru, those that were meeting at Nakuru, uh, Nakuru Athletics, led by our Ebu Chairman, Mr. Mundi and George and Job. You have done a tremendous job. You have really got the fans that have made this uh, ceremony to be a success. God bless you so much because you didn't get tired. Led by the coordinator, Mr. Sami, we have no words. God bless you and, and those people who are coming there, thank you so much. The people who are meeting in Joro, we cannot forget to thank you so much. Teachers from Kiriko Secondary School, where Mama Shiko is a teacher, I want to thank you so much. The church there, when we got that message, we went there, and the, it was on a Sunday morning. The people who came there, first are the members of their church. They really encouraged us. They really gave us hope. I want to tell them thank you. If they were not able to come, please uh, take our thanksgiving to them. Thank you, the friends of this family. All of us, you are quite a bigger family. All of you, uh, we appreciate your love. You have been so good to us. And that is why we cannot forget to say thank you so much. Uh, the committee members, I thank you. Those who are sitting here in Yakururu, some of you didn't know Zach so well because he grew up in Joro, but you came here. We can see it, that truly you are here for us. You, you pitched the tents, you did everything. May God bless you mightily. I want to thank our family. When things became the way they were, we were broken, we cried but we later pulled ourselves together 
and stood up and said, we have to give our brother a decent send off. And that is why we are here. My relatives, thank you so much, because in morning, you are able to stand and walk. Thank you because we were almost giving up. We felt so frustrated, but we held each other's hand and we said, we are going to stand for Zach. And that is why we are not crying so much. God has cleared up, uh, has wiped our tears, and now we are strong, and we know that God has a wonderful plan for us, for our family, and for, for the family of Zach. We want to thank, in, in a special way, our family members who are getting this service live. Those who are in the diaspora, there are several. They, they were so sorry. Can you imagine mourning alone there? They were so sad. We could see their screaming, their messages. But they also told us to bring our appreciation because they got messages and they were very happy. In a special, we want to thank Mama Georgie, my sister, who is in, in Denmark. She has given quite a good support financially, and it is because they were quite good friends with Zach. He, 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 he came some time back, and they were all over together. Little did she know that it was a farewell. So we thank her, we thank the family there, we thank our cousin who is in the US, Elizabeth. They have contributed quite, and we are so happy. We thank God for them because I know they are seeing this, receive our appreciation too, and may God comfort you as you continue healing from this grief. I want to thank the service providers, those people who have given us the tents, it could, they, they gave us a shade, the people who dug the grave, that, those are a very important team because without them we cannot succeed, we cannot have this burial. I want to thank the transport people. Several friends have given us vehicles. They have given us everything that we needed. Right from the mortuary, right from Joro, from Morova. We want to thank you so, so much. We, 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 it is good to have. Somebody told us yesterday that we should invest in social, social capital, yes. That everything else may go, but the friends, they are the only ones who will come to see in the hospital. They are the ones who come here. Zach may be having some plots and, and a car. We can't see that car here, but we can't even see that plot. We can't see a title deed on the casket, but we can see friends. So we were told you have to, to, to capitalize on the people because people don't know you don't know. So we thank God for these friends that have made it possible for this ceremony to take place. We also want to thank the people who have prepared us food because we believe we'll eat. Please don't go home. Food has prepared specifically for us. And therefore we want to thank them because I know they have worked throughout the night so that we can have a happy day at the end of it all. I want to thank every one of you. Maybe I might not have been able to mention everybody. Partners of Jojin, you have been so instrumental, so many friends, so many people. I cannot mention all of you. I want to say thank you so much. May God bless you so much. Zach will not bury you. Zach will not even come to own you. But God will prepare people to do that for you because you have come. The song that has been sung here, they have said, just one act of goodness will save you. That lady, that young man, that man who sat on the grass today, you didn't go to work, you didn't go to your, your, your normal activities. You decided to come and sit here to listen to us. You will be given a shade by God because he's a God of love. And you'll be visited when you really need visit. Those people who listened to us, they wrote messages to us. They, 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 they listened to us and told us it will be well. May God bless you so much. We are so happy, we, are, we, we can't, we, we, a thousand thank yous cannot be enough, but God who blesses, may he bless you in a mighty way. And as you prepare now to go back home, I pray that God may give you journey masses, may you be blessed as you go, may you get safety in everything that you do, and continue praying for us, continue praying for this family, because you know healing doesn't take place once, we know God will give us comfort. So thank you so much. 
We God bless you abundantly. Asante sana. Uh, Duka jenga kuna mtu wameniambia kijana wangu anaitwa Ian anaona mtandao he's in Nairobi doing exams. Akasema nitangaze hapa ya kwamba ameleta pole kwako. Umepokea? Asante sana. I think sasa tunataka kuombea chakula. Ah uh, sijui kama kuna mama volunteer anaweza kuja atuombee chakula. Alafu tutaweza kuenda kaburini. Pasipo kuweko itabidi niite jina. Mama moja wa kanisa. Aimureti kila kwa hoya. Basi nafikiri jamii sisi ndio tutachukua mwili. Jamii vijana wa jamii akina Gakoro wote wengine wakuje. Asante. Tutulie kidogo kwanza. Tulie kidogo kwanza. Uh, wakati huu tutarudisha kwa kanisa fadha utuongoze tafadhali na kama venye tumehimizwa tunaomba zote tuende kaburini kwa sababu tulikuja kwa mazishi alafu na mwingine atafuata baada na mshukuru MC wale ambao umetuongoza na wanakwaya wetu na wote ambao tumeshiriki Naomba wote tusimame. Leo tunamsidikiza ndugu yetu Zack Gakuru Jenga katika safari yake ya mwisho hapa duniani Mungu alimpa maisha ya duniani na sasa amemwita ili ampe maisha ya mbinguni asiyo na mwisho. Mwili wake tuweka adhini kama begu ya mwili utakao tukuka na roho yake ingie katika katika uzima wa milele na utawala wako apate furaha isiyo na mwisho na kama miongoni mwa watakatifu wote milele na milele baba hicho ile binguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama binguni Utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku. Utusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi walio tukosea. Usitutie katika kishawishi lakini utuopoe maovuni. Amen. Tukuje Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Tukuje Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Tukuje Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Bwana awe nanyi. Wabariki Mungu Mwenyezi Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Na sasa tumpeleke ndugu yetu Zaki makaburini tutatumaini kuwa siku moja tutakutana naye katika uzima mpya. Basi familia wanafikiri mtatupea njia pale. Diongo, tunapita hapa? Tunapita gani? Tupita nje? Tupita nje? Asante sana, asante sana. Eh, bwana Mogambi? Bwana Mogambi?
Mungu ulibariki kap Mungu ulibariki kaburi hili umweke na malaika wako mtakatifu alilinde na huyu ndugu yetu Zaya ambaye mwili wake utazikwa hapa roho yake ifurahi kwako mbinguni pamoja na watakatifu wako bila mwisho Tunaomba hayo kwa jina ya Kristo Bwana wetu kunyenyekevu Mungu babu wa rehema kwa ajili ya ndugu zetu waliofariki tuseme tuwakuomba utusikie e, Bwana uwasamehe kwa wema dhambi zao usipokee kazi zao jema tuwakuomba utusikie tuwakuomba utusikie wote wanaohudumika kwa kifo cha ndugu huyu tuwakuomba utusikie Tuombe tuombeane sisi wenyewe ambao tuwasafiri hapa duniani Mungu atuimarishe na kutudumisha katika utumishi wake mtakatifu. Kwa kuomba utusikie. Mungu mwenyezi kwa imani tunasadiki kwa nafuko wa mwanao. Tunaomba ujalie sisi na ndugu zetu marehemu tukufuke katika furaha. Na tunaomba hayo kwa jina ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Tuombe Mwenyezi Mungu umependa kumuita kwake huyu ndugu yetu toka uzima huu tunaweka mwili wake udongoni rudie ulipotoka Kristo amefukwa kwanza kutoka wapo tunakabidhi huu ndugu yetu kwa Bwana na Bwana mpokee katika amani yake na mwili wake ufufue siku ya mwisho. Zak zakuru katika maji ulibatizwa. Mungu akamilisha ndani yako alianzisha katika ubatizo. Mwili wako ulikuwa hekalu la Mungu, tunakuomba kupe na furaha ya milele.
tutarudia kuwa uvumbi lakini bwana wetu Yesu Kristo atakufua siku ya mwisho amina familia tupange msi wenye wanafuatilia panga mama mke wa zake aletwe mke wa zake kwanza aletwe mke wa zake na watoto watoto wako watoto na mama yao anakuja mama aletwe mama aletwe tafadhali mpe njia mpe ni njia tafadhali akuje hapa akuje hapa mama kidogo mleta karibu
Mungu siku zako hazina mwisho na rehema zako hazina idadi utukumbushe daima kwamba maisha hapa duniani ni mafupi na kwamba hatujui tutakufariji Roho wako mtakatifu atuongoze katika utakatifu na haki siku zote za maisha yetu Tufike salama katika ufahamu wako kwa jina ya Kristo Bwana wetu Amen Raha ya milele umpe Bwana na mwaka wa milele umwangazie apumzike kwa amani Amen Raha ya milele umpe Bwana na mwaka wa milele umwangazie apumzike kwa amani Amen Raha ya milele umpe Zak na mwanga wa milele umwangazie Uandikwe ishara ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliye kukomboa kwa ishara hii apumzike kwa amani amen dada mko wapi kama au kama au wawero mko wapi kama au wapi aje 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 mpeni nafasi